In this video, I will remind you of a couple rules of indefinite integrals and compile a short table of them. So, first of all, if we have the integral of a constant c times f of x, well then we can simply factor that constant out of the indefinite integral. So it will just be the, the constant times whatever the in, indefinite integral of f of x is. If we're adding or subtracting two functions, of course what this means is we can evaluate the antiderivative separately and just add or subtract them. So it's very easy to separate an integral by addition or subtraction not by multiplication and division. Those will need to consider more sophisticated rules, but it's very easy to separate it by addition and subtraction. And then the particular rules, and this will look awfully familiar because really what I'm just doing is restating all the antiderivative rules. So the indefinite integral of x to the n is x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c, arbitrary constant, Indefinite integral of 1 over x, well, the antiderivative of that is log of absolute value of x plus c. Antiderivative of e to the x, of course, is just e to the x, unchanged. Antiderivative of cosine x dx is sine x plus c. The antiderivative of sine x is negative cosine x plus c. The antiderivative of secant squared is tangent x plus c. Antiderivative of secant x tangent x is secant x plus c. The antiderivative of dx over square root of 1 minus x squared, this is the sine inverse plus c. And dx over 1 plus x squared, the, that is the tangent inverse plus c. And again, all this is really is just a restatement of the antiderivative rules now written in integral form. 